Alright, what's up people? This your boy Juan Lady, which is formerly known as my P9 Lady One. Where I give you all the you know the gaming feed of what's going on in the gaming world and the gaming community. Um also I bring out you know some gameplay. I don't bring out a lot of gameplays, but most of all I bring out a lot of info of what's going on in the gaming industry. But um actually today this is it's a pretty good pretty good outside it feels pretty nice outside nice weather um it's breezing outside you know it feels nice i believe it's like 69 degrees or 70 degrees whatever but off topic what i want to talk about today is Watch Dogs versus grand theft auto 5 now Watch Dogs recently has some like a whole lot of notoriety towards the game um it's been having a lot of good buzz towards it and personally you know i'm, I'm very hyped for watchdogs because watchdog is like an open world game just like grand theft auto 5 grand theft auto 5 is supposed to be the most popular game out of all gaming system out of like the gaming history um, it's three protagonists, which you know is Michael, Franklin, and Trayvar. But what I haven't realized is that they haven't they haven't even showed any gameplay whatsoever. They only give you a tease. Um, also, I'm gonna do a, a video on my predictions of E3 2013. Just be on the lookout for that. I promise you, I will give you a video for that. But right now. I want to talk about is Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs, personally, like when I looked at, because I looked at the trailer of um, Watch Dogs at the Sony conference, which took place in February the 20th. Um, they already showed a gameplay for it at uh, when they first showed it at E3 of last year, but this year, 2013. Um, I hope they show a little bit more. They already showed the gameplay, which is pretty much last week. But what I looked at so far, I mean, I'm so hype about the game. You know, I'm very hype about it because it's an open world. And this time, I mean, you get to do like new things, get to renew the new things that has never been brought to the table. You know, um, Ubisoft brings the most sensational games which is Assassin's Creed, um, what else, Hitman, Hitman is like one of my favorite games because it's like an open world and you know the gameplay looks so fantastic, you know it's thrilling, um, it'll make you want to play it like again, just, just straight up playing it over again, like right now you know um, they have what else they have they have Assassin's Creed. I haven't played Assassin's Creed, but personally I need to buy Assassin's Creed So I can just really get into what is going on because I haven't played it yet But Watch Dogs personally, you know, you get to do new things um, Ubisoft did an excellent job concerning their renewal of, of their strategy um, personally, when it comes to, you know, bringing something new to the table, people like the consumers want to see something new to the table. They don't want to see the repetitive nature of the game, repetitive nature of what they bring out to the table. Say, for example, Call of Duty, you know, Call of Duty bring out something repetitive. I got to do a video on that as well. I need to do a video on that, um, Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, they also confirmed that it's going to be a new engine, so we are already close to the next gen. But um, Watch Dogs, personally, you know, you get to do new things. You basically can like navigate through different um, open world views. Say for example, you get to navigate, when you use your cell phone, you can actually hack into somebody's information. You can actually hack into their history, um, their criminal history their background um what else they show they actually show where you can actually 
navigate you know the criminal investigation you can actually um eavesdrop basically the eavesdrop is like when you actually sneak in and, and figure out what the two people are conversating about you need to figure out the you know the conversation of what they're speaking on but personally like the game like when i first looked at it i was like dang man like this cannot be on playstation 3 or the xbox 360 because the graphics look so insane it looks so like sarcastic concerning you know the elements of the game and the interaction of people that you associate with um i mean the open world like man this this can't not be on the next gen but i mean this cannot be on this current gen but actually what i said was true because based on the graphics like the graphics they took the graphics to a whole nother level when you take something to a whole nother level it amuse you it amaze you it, it it'll stimulate your mind to the point where you want to go out and buy the game and i feel like watchdogs should have the game of the year should be a no nominated for the game of the year but gta 5 has to be nominated as well um both games personally i mean it's hard to pick out because you know it's an open world game both games has the open world game but um as you can see on top of the screen is Watch Dogs. um basically the game like when it comes to the game is is like you can just navigate into different things i mean you can actually cause the columns to go up when the columns go up you know so many vehicles get into car accidents um you can basically figure out who committed the crime who did this who did that and you can actually sneak up and do stealth missions i don't know you can pretty much do stealth missions they really haven't got into detail all of it um ubisoft hasn't got into detail but um you know personally when it comes to the open world games i'm looking for something that's new i don't want i don't want something that's more repetitive like call of duty but i hope call of duty i hope it's true by call of duty that they bring out the new engine engine excuse me engine but um battlefield 4 like oh my goodness battlefield 4 is it, it, it'll bring your brain your brain will start writing when you start watching the trailer because they brought the engine to a whole nother level they brought it to the point where it should be on the next gen and i hope they bring battlefield 4 to the next gen i personally haven't played battlefield 4 i have played battlefield 3 for the multiplayer which is pretty decent which is pretty cool i haven't played the whole game um i've been lacking on on variety of games but right now you know Watch Dogs personally for me is like a, mu a must cop for me. I mean, it's a must cop. And Watch Dogs has that potential. It has that potential of winning the game of the year. GTA 5 has that same strategic route, but they haven't even showed the gameplay. You know, Rockstar are just very cheevous when it comes to showing, I mean, showing everything. They want to give you a tease just to give you more hype, more action towards the game. But um, tell me what you think about this video. Leave your thoughts, comments, subscribe. Please subscribe to this channel. I'm going to give you more information on E3. My thoughts on it. My predictions on it. What's going to be showing on E3. Um, unfortunately, you know, Nintendo is not going to have a big conference. Which... I'm not too surprised about, but um, tell me what you think about this video. Leave your like, comment, subscribe, whatever. I'm out. So.